Hey guys, it's Rachel and welcome back to my channel. Alrighty, so what we're going to be doing today for the video is a declutter, a, specifically a palette declutter. I have received several new palettes to my collection in the last few weeks and it's feeling like I may need to get rid of some because I have several in my collection that I'm not using and they could go on to better homes. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so these are all the current palettes that I own and I'm going to keep some and I'm going to get rid of some. So let's just go ahead and dive in. This I got off of Amazon. The name is here, but I can't really read it. And this houses my single shadows. These three are Sydney Grace and this is an Ofra shadow. I got this Ofra one in a I want to say an Ipsy a long time ago, back when I had Ipsy, and I haven't had Ipsy, Ipsy in years. Um, this shade right here is Red Chameleon. Now, as a video, okay. Um, that's Golden Peach. This is Dazzle, and this is Lost Princess. Um, this is gonna be a long video, so I'm not gonna swatch these with you today. I might use them in the future, however. These are all pressed pigments. They are not shimmer, so they're a little bit powdery, and they're very punchy. I also keep the sticky things in here so I don't lose them in case I wanna depot something. So those are my singles, and those are gonna stay. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the things that I'm gonna keep over here and the things that I'm going to donate or give away to somebody I know over here. So this is coming in the keep pile. Let's see. Okay, up here at the top. This is the Norvina palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I ended up, these powders are so soft, I ended up like dropping a brush on this or something right here and it, I didn't actually hit pan. This just kind of, oh gosh, she just got destroyed. And you can see I've given this some love, I really have. But um, I'm not impressed. To be honest, the most impressive shades I have in here are these browns. These are very like um, orangish browns. I, I was disappointed in the purples, which is the whole point of the palette. This shade in Celestial, it, it like barely even shows up. And I'm sure it was a topper shade, but this is why I bought the palette and I didn't realize it was a topper shade. And so I was a disappointed with it. So I'm going to see if somebody would like to have this. I wasn't over the moon about it the whole time after I used it for the first time. And I kept taking it out and trying it again and never really falling in love. So it's time to let her go. Okay, this is the... Magic Mini by Juvia's Place. If, if you saw my ranking videos for my palettes, you are aware that I've had some trouble with these two palettes here. Finding a cohesive color store without pulling other um, color, other palettes into the picture. This palette, I, I've tried the silvers, I wasn't a fan. Um, I, what I use the most are these two pinks and this purple here. Now, what I would do when I was using the Norvina is instead of that purple topper I just showed you, I would use this purple instead because, let me swatch that for you, it, that is what I expected when I bought the Norvina palette. Not, not what it, what came with it. And I found that this was the only thing I was using it for, was one shade. Um, so I keep trying it and I keep failing. And I think this is time to go to a better home with somebody that's going to love her more than I am because I've got other, other beauties to play around with. So while I don't have anything against the formula of this palette, the color story is just not for me. So she's going to a new home. The same thing's going to happen to my Masquerade Mini. 
Um, this shit here just gets everywhere. It, it drives me nuts. It, it's so soft but, that it just crumbles and gets all over the place. Now, I will tell you, I when I want to do a colorful look, I will use these here. These, what, five shades? I don't like this pink. It is powdery and glittery and I don't like it. And these neutrals here, I have these a hundred times, oh, well a hundred, okay, that, I'm an exaggerator by the way. I have these in a lot of these other palettes and I don't, I definitely don't use these together. So I'm gonna go ahead and ruthlessly declutter her because I always tell myself I need to use her more and it never gets done. The Blush Tried Blossom palette is not available anymore. It is a past, I would say, sort of like a pastel matte with a little bit of not, I mean, I wouldn't call this red or this blue or this green pastel, maybe not even this yellow. Um, it worked for a while when I was doing a lot of colorful looks. Last year I went on this colorful binge trying to get looks done and I've come to find out that the quality is just not there and I just don't do colorful looks as much as I do neutrals. You know, I, I kind of wanted to be a colorful look girl and I figured out that I'm just not drawn to color as much as I am a more neutral palette. So she's going to find a new home. Okay, now the Zulu palette is actually the only Juvia's Place palette that I'm going to keep. This palette, I find it easy to make looks with. I, I like the brightness of this palette. The I don't really use the brown all that much and this like turquoise shade when it it's kind of like I don't know. I, I'm still I'm still working out how I like to do that. Um, I will say that the purple here will stain. It'll stain your eye. Well, it stains mine pink. So just be aware of that. That doesn't bother me. But it uh, some if you're not expecting that it 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 will. I just I really like the green in here it's so punchy and it's the, I love the formula and the turquoise in here as well look at how bright that is guys oh my goodness okay so yeah I'm keeping this this was my first Juvia's Place palette that I ever had so she's gonna stay uh, let's go ahead and do Too Faced. So this is the very first Too Faced palette that I ever owned. This is the original Sweet Peach palette. As you can see, I've hit pan on peaches and cream here, and I love this palette. Now this shade, Just Peachy, is kind of, it got hard pan on it really fast, and um, it's not as good of quality as I expected. However, the rest of these shades, I like, I don't tend to use these purples or this black, but the rest of them I dabble in all the time. My favorite shade in here is this lush, luscious shade. It's, it's just perfection. Um, so, and I, I like the mattes, they're nice and warm. And it still smells like peach and I really enjoy that, so she's gonna stay. The Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette. Um, I had to kind of dig into some of these shades because they got hard pan. I, I've got that problem with Too Faced Shadows as my shimmers, they get hard pan really easy. Um, I wasn't a fan of this blue and I wasn't a fan of this pink. Nougat barely showed up on me. I liked Caramel bon and Bon Bon and then Rum Raisin were good. This. Cocoa Chili, meh, nothing to write home about. Like, most of these shimmers are just, they're not the greatest. Now, I do love Peanut Butter. If I was going to keep it, it'd just be for this shade, but as you can see, I've got that over here, so I don't need that. So this is going to find a new home. The Too Faced Chocolate Gold Palette is, for quality, honestly the best geese. <laughs> You're interrupting me. There is a flock of them flying over my house. So sorry if you hear those geese. Anyway, 
the best quality shadows that I think Too Faced has come out with. I will use this as a travel palette. So I have the same mattes that I can use, but then I have my sh my choice of um, shimmers. And I'm sorry if this is like in the way. I, I can't, you can't bend these all the way back. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and keep this one. I get a lot of use out of it. Although I do have a little bit of hard pan on some of these. Scrape it off and keep going. And they're still good. The gingerbread palette, the ginger, original gingerbread spice palette from last year. I'm going to go ahead and keep this one. I really enjoy this, especially in the winter time. My two probably most used shades in here are going to be hot toddy and warm and toasty. This is a duochrome shade, this hot toddy. It's a red with a golden pink shift to it. And then the gold in this is just really, really beautiful. It's like a, a an, almost an orangey gold. This is great for fall. And I can get some summer looks out of this too. So I'm gonna have keep this one. And my last Too Faced palette is the Too Faced Peanut Butter and Jelly. I think this gets a really bad rap by a lot of people because, they, let's be honest, the jelly part of this palette is pretty bad. This jelly is a topper shade, just like with the Norvina, so it doesn't show up. So I was dipping into my Magic palettes to find this if I wanted to use a purple, but I just don't use a lot of purple. So, um, but I, I do get a, a lot of use out of these browns and these shimmers here. Um, this color story, almost an orangish color story. It's right up my alley, and I really like this, so I'm going to keep that. Okay. Um, the Anastasia Soft Glam Palette is... This was a pleasant surprise. I ended up buying it with a gift card, and I didn't know if I was going to like it as much as other Anastasia palettes. I had the Modern Renaissance at one point. I have since decluttered it because I had this one and I used this one a whole lot more than I use the Modern Renaissance. It has still got some warm shades. Orange Soda, which is a favorite of of mine, has been around for a while. This is a great shade. I like this one a lot. Um, gl glistening is probably my most used shade in here and this is a great work palette that I'm going to keep. And then the Sultry palette from Anastasia is, at the moment, my favorite cool toned palette. I really like the um, cool tones here. This is a probably the best black guy that I, that I own. And let me see, is this... Yeah, so I have the same black for both of these palettes. And uh, I don't really need it twice, but it's really good. I like how well it blends out and stuff. Um, you can get a, you can warm it up if you wish, but also you can go cool. And I, this is like, this Cyborg shade here, it's unlike any other silver that I have because if you see me swatching it out, it's not, it's not entirely silver. It's got a warmer base to it, but it, so it doesn't pull blue on me like a lot of silvers do and I, I, I really like that shade. So not getting rid of that, that's staying. I'm going to go with the Dominique Latte palette, the original. This, this is my go-to work palette. I take this traveling. I, this is very well loved, very well used. I am, if, okay, I'll go ahead and link the video I did with where I ranked all of my palettes. This guy came out at number one. Now I have new acquisitions and I'm probably going to redo that video sometime in the future because it, things are going to be different. I really love this pumpkin spice shade. I'm an orange eyeshadow person though 
And I also, I like the shimmers in here. You are gonna get similar looks with creme brulee and macchiato, but like they blend like a dream. So I'm gonna keep her. The, this is the, let's see. This is the Give Me Glow Juicy Olive Palette. Um, go ahead and click down below to see my review. <laughs> I ended up getting her, come on now. I ended up getting her. Uh, you, you've seen most of my collection and I don't have olive greens. I really love this palette. I think Vodka Teeny is probably my favorite shade in here. And this, I, look, I understand this is kind of a one trick pony, like it's an olive palette. You're gonna get an olive look out of it, but not a lot of people have olive shades. So there you go. She's staying. Love this company, by the way. Okay. This I got for my birthday. This is the Natasha Denona. Oh no! Did you see what I just did? Oh, I just dug my fingernail in there. Ugh. Okay, you can't tell now because these. <laughs> well, hang on. These. Okay, as I was saying, these shades are so soft you can fix it easy. I haven't even used. This is the only shade I think in this whole palette so far that I haven't used. Oh my gosh, how fortuitous is that? No, I haven't used Rustic either. I, I'm still trying this palette out before I do a video on it. This, oh, her shadows, like, I went back and forth trying to pick one and I picked this one and I don't regret it at all. I keep wanting, I keep wanting to use it. I've got other palettes in my collection and I don't care. I keep wanting to use this one. Um, this is the perfect, like, neutral for me shade for me um it I do have the like I said the hang on I do have the sultry palette but yeah they they're not the same so I'm gonna keep both of them I think this is worth every penny I paid for it okay and then the newest acquisition to me is the Dominique Latte 2. I just got this in the mail yesterday. I haven't even swatched it yet. So not going to because I'm gonna do a video on it myself. I haven't even played with it. When we're done here, I'm gonna actually do a look with it. It is not the same as its sister, which I have. So hang on, let me show you. Similar, but not the same. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. Obviously, keeping her. I'm excited to play with this one. All right, well, those are the palettes that I am keeping and donating and giving away. If you have gently used makeup or toiletries, items that you don't need, that you would like to give to a better home, I am gonna go ahead and link the information for Project Beauty Share down below in the description box so you can give it to a good cause. If you like today's video, if you are a fan of palette declutters like I am, and you would love to see more declutters in the future, give this video a thumbs up for me so I know that that is exactly what you wanna see. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Be kind to yourself out there, folks, and I will catch you later.